going on? What's going on, guys? 76ers, big win against Washington Wizards for game two. Uh, another instant reaction here for the Connor and Mark Show alongside Mark Rogers on Connor Game. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page. Just click that subscribe button. Also, follow us on the Connor and Mark Show on Twitter and Instagram uh, at Connor and Mark Show. So, big win tonight. 76ers steal game two, dominant fashion. Big game from a plethora of players, but really stuck out to me. Mark was the dominant game that we saw from Ben Simmons. Uh, he did have a really good game one, in my opinion, just obviously on the score sheet. Uh, Scoring-wise, he only had six points, but he matched that early on in the first quarter and didn't look back. And uh, I don't know, I got to look at his final stat line here, but uh, it was close to a triple-double. They pulled him out of the third quarter because it got so uh, bad for the Wizards. And the 76ers take two in Philadelphia, the second one in dominant fashion, and now heading down to D.C. for game three this Saturday. So a lot to be excited about. What was your reaction to tonight's game, tonight's victory? Yeah, man. I mean, uh, as everyone expected, they take, you know, the first two at home and they've been so good at home this year. But, you know, what really got me was was how they responded after game one. I mean, going in, they were down at half in, in game one, came out with the victory. But this really looked like the team we know um, outscoring them in the first, second, tying them in the third and then shutting them down in the fourth. And, and really a good game, like you said, from a ton of players and not only the stars, but I mean, even late in the game, MB got out, Simmons got out, Harris, um, and and guys like Maxi and Paul Reed even got to step in tonight. So really promising to see what this entire lineup did together and, and just absolutely shut this Wizards team down, um, like I alluded to, in the fourth quarter, outscoring 26 to 15. So a lot to look forward to. Um, not a lot on, on Washington's side. I mean, you look at their, at their stat line and leading guys, Bradley Beal, 33 points of they're 95 points scored, so about a third of their offense um, coming from Beal. So if they can keep up this defensive play, and as you also said, Simmons and, and Thibel, I mean, he had an unreal defensive game as well. Um, if they can keep this up, I mean, they're going to roll through the Wizards, and, and as we all expected, heading to the second round. Uh, yeah, it, it, listen, this, we talked about the second round before I want to obviously – move off to the Sixers point to Knicks has jumped ahead at Atlanta Hawks as we're recording this uh, 10 o'clock on, on uh, right after the game, but they're up now three points because the Atlanta Hawks, that's a, obviously an interesting series at, at the 76ers. Like we presume we'll move on. They'll face either the, uh, the Hawks or Knicks, but getting back to my original point, listen, Ben Simmons dominant tonight, uh, not only offensively, but defensively finished with 22, nine and eight Joel Embiid um, again in the first half was a little under, um, you know, I wouldn't say Colder disappeared, but he just wasn't, you know, fully into it. Um, but he obviously he finished with good numbers as well. Came on in the second half, especially in that third quarter. Tobias Harris, a little bit of an injury scare, but he had a nice game tonight. I believe what he had 17 points from Tobias Harris. Curry as well, uh, 19, sorry. And then uh, Curry as well had a pretty nice game. I, I, I think he was in double figures. Um, and then uh, I know he also had an injury scare as well. But off the bench, dude, Thibel dominant defensively. I think he had five blocks and four steals. Uh, and only like 20 minutes of play. Uh, it really, it's unbelievable. I, it really, it, defensively, he's just a game changer. And, and we're seeing this night in and night out of how important he is um, defensively for this team. And I know it, it stinks not seeing him, you know, have such a developed offensive game, but uh, it, it really helps when you're facing, you know, Dolly Browley Beal, who's going off. Um, he has to constantly go against Ben Simmons and constantly go against Matisse Thibel. Uh, he's going to get his, but at the end of the day, it's going to tire him out. And uh, and we saw this tonight. I mean, Bradley Beal was on fire this whole game, and they, they weren't even close. It wasn't a close game at all. So um, I, I thought, obviously, Thibel played really well. Maxi, I know it was at the end of the game, and they're really out of it. But it's cool to see him come in there, young kid, and play so well and give a little bit of an energi- energized bunny kind of role. Uh, Cause I know Milton really struggled tonight. He was probably the only one who really did struggle, but uh, there's a lot of positives. I mean, after a dominant game like that, there's a lot to be happy about a lot of positive, uh, positives to, you know, look forward to going into game three and game four. And I know that they, they've been really dominant at home and, and road was a big question mark coming in this year, but I expect them to win both three and four and sweep this team. I think that outside of rally beyond this Washington wizards team, um, I know that Russell Westbrook is a nice player, but he's a little up and down and you don't, you don't, you don't really know we got to get out of them. but outside of those two, like who's going to score on this team to keep up with them. Like that's why they need Bradley be able to go, you know, score 30, 40 points a night to even have a chance. And even tonight, like he was dominant and they didn't have a chance the whole game. So uh, I really think that they should sweep this team. Uh, the, the Washington wizards, uh, devote a talent um, and, and the Sixers, are uh, showing why they're, uh, you know, one of the favorites to walk away in the NBA title at the end of all of this. 
Yeah, I mean, just just to backtrack and, and touch on a few of those points. I mean, when you have two guys like Ben Simmons, who's obviously uh, this year a defensive player of the year finalist, and then you have an emerging defensive player of the year finalist, could be year after year in Matisse Thibel. I mean, there's a lot to look forward to this team. I know we we as Sixers fans and Philadelphia fans get on Ben Simmons to shoot, but I mean, 22 points tonight, that's huge. And, and the defensive play is just even bigger, especially in this, you know, in this time and playoff time. So, yeah. you know, to your point, I, I don't see Washington at this point really winning a game. I mean, Westbrook may be done for the series. He really rolled his ankle bad tonight. And yeah, I'll keep looking and see if anything comes up on that. But yeah, no, that, that, that's interesting. No, sorry to interrupt you. I didn't mean to interrupt yeah, your point. Yeah, no, you're good. I mean, obviously more to come on that, but you know, when, when he has played, I mean, tonight he was two for 10 from the field and 0 for three from three point uh, outside of Beal, like you said, who scored a third of their points. I don't really see much happening, but um, yeah, dude, just all over. It's, it's very good also and promising for game three and four in Washington um, because Embiid, Simmons and, and Harris were all out, I believe by, by the third quarter. So they got some good rest there at the end. And, and I think that's really going to help them through this series. Um, but like I said, I, I really cannot see Washington um, putting together a complete game against this Sixers defense um, that has been ferocious, not only for these past two playoff games, but, you know, for the duration of, of the regular season as well. So uh, a lot to look forward to. And, and the lockdown quarter at the end and in the fourth quarter, I believe Washington only had three points with about five minutes into the, to the fourth quarter. All of those things adding up together. Um, Really makes me think whoever the, the Sixers play in the second round, they should do much the same they do here in the first round as well. Yeah, Scott Brooks for Wizards uh, head coach talked after the game, says an ankle injury for Russell Westbrook. Um, I don't know if you really specified on how serious the injury is, but um, obviously a lot will be talked about the incident after the game as well, with or not, or at, at the end of the game when Westbrook was leaving and the popcorn was thrown on him. But um, that's going to be Obviously, uh, that's definitely going to be a hot topic tomorrow. That's my opinion on that. But um, listen, it's if they don't have Russell Westbrook going forward, then you can you know kiss the series goodbye for the Wizards. It's just I mean they don't have enough to compete with the 76ers already. But um, if they already lose Westbrook, who who's obviously starting point guard, it's going to be a huge loss for them. So we'll see where that goes. But obviously, looking at these stats, I believe the Wizards were two for twenty two tonight at three point. And we had the Sixers shot over 40% for three point. So it, obviously a clear disparity from those two stats. I think mm -hmm. that's been like the, the key stat there. Uh, not only were the Wizards cold from three, I think the 76ers did play really good defense, obviously perimeter wise with, you know, Thibel and, and uh, Ben Simmons, Maxi got had play, played some good defense as well. So that was something that's huge. And, and when I, I made the point um, to a buddy of mine, when Curry and Green are hitting shots and, and they have bench guys who are shooting threes as well. It's really hard to stop this team because they're so good defensively, especially on the perimeter with Joe Embiid on the inside. Uh, and when their offense is going, they really are one of the best teams in the East. And, I, and I'm I'm shifting my thought of watching this team play that that they do have a real good shot at beating Brooklyn. And maybe if they do meet in a seven game series, I may switch my opinion on whether or not I think they can beat Brooklyn. So uh, that remains to be seen. We have to see it happen, obviously. But uh, this team's obviously playing at a really high level, and, and I'm excited about where this team can go. Yeah, I mean, everything you said and, and you know, double down on that. I mean, just, just looking at some more stats here tonight. I mean, the, the Sixers were just killing them in, in all facets of the game. I mean, 68% at the free throw line, 63 for for Washington, uh, 49 of 88 from the field, 37 of 92 for Washington from the field. So just magnifying those, okay. the, the, the defensive stats even further. Um, you know, this team, this team, speaking of the Wizards, are, are in deep trouble. Um, and, and they really should be. This Sixers team is much better than them, you know, matchup wise. I mean, you, you even look at Embiid. I mean, no one has came close to slumming him down at all. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I believe his name's Gannon, um, the, the center for uh, Washington. So I, and, and Len's the other one, but I don't really see matchups being in, in Washington's favor moving forward. Um, and again, I see a sweep, you know, very close here and, and Sixers moving into the second round. So a lot to be excited here for in Philadelphia. No, I agree. All right. Well, uh, game three Saturday night will be in Washington, D.C. Saturday, we'll be having Mark Sumoff on our live radio show, uh, Voice of Photo 76ers. We try to have him on before game one, had some technical difficulties, but he'll be live on our WCHE show from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Make sure you tune in to check that out. Um, and, that's gonna be, and we'll be talking, obviously, 76ers game three. 
Um, I mean, the Phillies, I think they're playing right now. They have a lead. We'll talk a little bit about Phillies. And uh, I, I think that's really what we'll be breaking down that day, unless you have something else you want to talk about Saturday. I, I think Phils and, and Sixers are the hot topic here as of now. Awesome. So make sure you follow us on social media at Connor and Mark Show, as well as subscribe to our YouTube page. So make sure you tune in Saturday. Uh, me, Mark, and then Mark Zumoff will be coming on at 1030. So we'll see you guys then.